Hello everyone, my name is Poom, I am a 5 year challenger support main and today we will be looking at Maokai. Let's see if the nerfs really hit him, let's see if the changes really impacted Maokai. Um, he was standing a very high win rate in solo queue guys, I'm not gonna lie to you for many patches. He was really strong, it seems like his um, his saplings uh, with his the amount of CC that his kit offers he was always super strong. He was able to always maintain like a high 55% win rate in solo queue, even in challenger. So let's see if, if any of the changes impacted him. Let's see if he's still strong. Um, so we are going to be maxing the Q. In this type of lane, we want to max Q. Uh, it does really good amounts of damage. Good damage, good CC, low cooldown. And then we're probably going to go ahead and max the W second. Uh, his sapling toss will only be used for vision control we just want to see if if we can spot their jungler if we can spot their support moving around the jungle right we just want to basically use them as as wards basically when you're playing maokai you technically have like five to six wards uh compared to the enemy support which usually makes him super strong right vision and solo queue especially in higher elo is very impactful and can really help change the game if everyone sees the jungler if everyone sees the support it's going to be super easy to play the game. So we do have a Jinx. Uh, so we are looking maybe for the early prowl, but we do have to be a little careful here. We're going to proc our Aftershock and we're just going to kite back. They used one ward. They have no sweeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ward the bush. So I don't want to use necessarily a potion or anything just yet. I do have my passive coming up. We do have the minions advantage here, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kill one of the minions. And I'm going to find a little flank angle here. We will be level 2 first. We have only one minion missing, yep. So you can't really go on the rail, okay? She can just dash away. So what we're going to do is we do want to just prioritize hitting the Jinx, if we, or not the Jinx, the Kai'Sa if we can. I don't have a ward, but I'm going to fake like I warded. And we're gonna just hit this guy. I don't think we're gonna die. We are gonna die here. Unfortunate that we did perish there. I'm gonna use a potion. Couldn't quite help my AD carry peel the... But this means that because they went for the bot gank, we, we are able to get a kill in their jungle. So that is good. Our jungle will have a pretty big lead off of this. So I'm not going to recall just yet. Uh, our wave is pushing out, slowly pushing out. They have no Rel Flash, so we should be uh, under no threat in the next, in the next like 5 or 4 minutes. We will be under no threat. Should be very hard for her to find angles unless she looks for hex flashes from the bushes. So here I think we can just stack. We can just wait for the next wave if we want. But looks like Jinx is just fast pushing. So this will make the wave bounce back to us. So we're going to look to recall. They could freeze this because we're not walking it in. That is the price we have to pay because we fast push. So let's see what they did. Yep, they froze it. So guys, if you do main AD carry, you guys need to really be careful about your minion waves, right? Like this type of crash, it's super bad. Um, I can't do anything about it because it's my AD carry's decision in the end. Um, but yeah, he's going to end up losing a cannon. It's it's just it's just not good. Just wait for the next wave, you know, crash on the next wave. You'll be totally happy and you won't lose anything. Now we see their jungler top, there's really no no angle for them here. If they do go in our minions, we should be able to fight. So we're going to go ahead with the Q max. Now the wave is still pushing back to us. I have ignite in 10 seconds. So we want to make sure that we keep push control. Uh, we want to make sure that the, 
The relic can't go in these bushes for free. Maybe we need to move for the grub, so I'm gonna try to pay attention here. Look at where my team is standing. Just gonna do damage here. We're poking the rail super well. We just wanna... We wanna really just auto-trade if we can. Um, Nicely done there. An enemy has been slain. We'll throw a sapling so that my team can get out. I'm gonna get the cannon because no one got it. <laughs> Nicely done there. So we're probably gonna look to get maybe Merc Treads this game. Let's see. Swifty Boots are pretty strong, but Merc Treads might be very valuable versus Rel, uh, versus Vagar. I'm gonna look for a, a roam. Uh, it's a pretty big wave. Jinx should be able to catch this, so I'm just gonna path the mid. I'm gonna path the mid from this base because the wave is crashing into our wave. I see rail, so I'm gonna go back to bot. Right, just waiting to see where their support is is going. Let's say I'm I'm pathing straight to bot right, and their support shows here. It's gonna take me much longer to do this than to go through mid and to go here. So really, it's just about trying to wait to see where the support goes because you always want to match, right? So you usually just want to go through mid. So the ADC has no flash, uh, he just flashed. So maybe here we can look for a W, if he walks back up for this minion. All right, make him use his W, that's okay. Now we're gonna sweep this ward. So see guys, we have the saplings, we have the bush controls. That's just the, that's what really Maokai is all about. Do want to probably wait for my ignite before we look for another all in, or maybe we wait for the jinx to be level six. An ally has been slain. But if he does give me a good angle, I will look for it. Use his E. Oh, that hit me. That's unfortunate. Now we're gonna sweep the ward. I just wanna. We wanna really keep. Keep the pressure up here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna push their ADC away. Now we're just gonna root their ADC. We're just gonna really just... Oh. Our ADC is playing so safe, guys. He's playing so safe. I'm not quite sure why. He's really under no threat. Uh, the Relic cannot just solo kill him. So he really needs to start playing with me. I'm gonna type to him. Play with me um, after the rel uses. Uh, I'm not gonna type anything. Let's just wait. Uh, I really can't do anything. I can't make my AD carry play the game, or I can't make him make better decisions. So unfortunately, that is not my job. It is entirely up to him. Nicely done. You get a kill. They use their rail flash. I'm almost level six. I have the Merc treads. Now I see their support was basing, so now I have a timer here to just look mid. Now he's gonna die. Wow, he used his flash. That was a little crazy. Now we're gonna hit it towards their jungle because we wanna see if we can maybe spot the jungler. Yep, so we see the jungle here. So I'm not gonna waste my ward because he might sweep. He has no sweeper. I'm gonna ward here. Then I'm gonna ward here. 
Now we see their Kaisa, we see their support. Now I'm gonna wait here and I'm gonna look for an ulti angle here. Maybe under the 80 carry if they walk up. Let's see. Let's go clear this ward, guys. Boom. Now we might have to look for an ulti angle here. We're gonna look for an ulti angle. Ooh, we totally missed. That was a pretty bad ulti angle. Should have waited. Nicely done there. Nicely done. And that's why Maokai is super strong, guys, in skirmishes. His CC, his damage, insanely high. He just has really strong base stats. I don't even have any AP, but my, my, my Q does 215 damage plus bonus health damage or max health damage it's absolutely crazy so what we're gonna go is we're gonna get the trailblazer because i want to be able to run around a little bit a little bit better i want to be able to kind of uh be there before the support just throw saplings and really get vision of where the enemy team's going and what they're doing so here i'm just watching right i have full vision behind them i don't know where their support is so this means that he's probably in the lane okay He's probably in the lane, he's probably trying to get a cheese kill uh, just to come back in the lane or he recalled. He's either like towards mid or he's in the lane, right? Not quite sure where he is. There we go, we see him. The support still has no flash, we see their jungler. I'm gonna throw a sapling. Now, I have ultimate coming up here in 5 seconds. This could be a very good fight here. I'm gonna charge my ult here. My ult's on the way. Looks like a good fight. We wanna really just one-shot their support here. I don't wanna give him ult over the wall. Make him flash. There we go. Oh, we're still looking. Looks not bad. Got a kill. Maybe another one. He has no flash as we remember. Whoa! That was a little crazy. So here the Trinamir can be mid, so I, we don't want to go in. I don't want to make. I don't want to use my flash here. I don't want to waste it, right? It would be a waste for me to flash in and not get a kill, or for me to use it uh, in this way. It would just be a waste. Just getting the skill really doesn't do anything for the map. So I'm gonna avoid using it, and I'm gonna use it for a better fight. So now I'm going to go to the top side. Because my ADC is basing right, we see their rel. We have a support gap advantage, right? We can make a play top here. Uh, we can make something, but we have to keep in mind that we have to be back bot soon, okay? If their rel shows again, if they fast push right, we have to be back to bot lane. So now their rel is showing, so now it doesn't matter. I don't need to go back bot. Now we can make a play here, all right? So here we're probably just getting the grubs and we're running away. Yeah, we're just denying the grubs and that's it. I don't really want to make a play at this point. Our mid's in base. We do have teleport, but can't really teleport on top of them. Like we do struggle locking them down unless my ult, my ult is up. So now it's just some support combat. Just poke him, poke him out, you know? Assert your dominance, you know, get the vision. Oh, we are fighting for the Herald, so I'll move up here for the Herald. Is he low? He's pretty low. Let's see what happens here. Maybe we can charge our, charge our ultimate like this. I'm charging my ultimate just so we can maybe get the rel. Yep, so we're gonna get the rel here. The rel's gonna die, and that's it. Oh, 
Now we're gonna recall. We're gonna get the Herald right. I wasn't able to hit it. Maybe I should have hit it on the way or drop a sapling so I can get the Baron recall. But I'm not gonna get it. It's okay. No big deal, guys. We secured the objectives. Uh, we killed their support. And that was perfect. We're gonna level up the W. We're gonna maybe look at Pauline here. Looks like pretty hard to maybe get an angle. I would have to run behind him and he might run away before and beforehand. So I'm gonna just gonna match their support here. I want my Jinx to be able to play the game. So we pop his item. And I'm just I'm just being a ward, right? I just wanna give my team vision. I don't wanna risk anything. I especially don't really wanna lose my summoner spells or lose anything that I might need here, right? So here I'm gonna wait for the cage to be down and I'm gonna look for an angle here. I'm gonna throw something in the bush just so that it gets the the bonus damage here. I'm gonna tank it for my jungler. And that's it, right? That's it. We used our HP bars, we used everything, we used our ultimates. And now we just wanna play so we're gonna wait for our Aatrox to push, right? We don't wanna die here or lose anything extra than we have to. Rel has no flash, so I'm kind of safe here, right? I'm just playing slowly, just seeing what they do. Just want to defend the mid, right? We're not risking anything. We're not losing our HP more than we have to. We're just matching them because we already we made a winning play, right? We won the play. We killed their jungler. So now that was their play timer, and now it's our play timer, right? We're going to use this Herald. What I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe charge my ulti here. We see their support. Their AD is probably going to die. So we weren't able to ride it in. Gonna maybe help our top laner here if he comes towards us. If he doesn't, we can't help him. Now we're just gonna peel the... We're gonna peel her off. Perfectly done. Now we're gonna take her recall. We don't want to overstay too long, right? We don't want to do any of these. Unless he goes. If he if he dashes in, if he makes a if he makes a play that's like super crazy, we would have stayed. But because he made nothing, we're just gonna recall. We're gonna get our... Ooh, that was close. We were gonna get our dragon, right? So we want to... Like, look at this Aatrox. Stopping his recall, you know, doing these things. He's greeting for a kill. Don't be greedy. Don't be this guy. Just recall. Go top. Go get your minion wave, you know. Go get some XP. Instead of doing this, he's not getting anything for himself. He's really just being completely useless. It's just not good. So we got his HP bar. Now we're just going to wait. Our Aatrox still hasn't recalled, guys. It's really crazy. So they do have, maybe, they don't have any rail flash. So I'm going to look here. I'm going to look for an ult angle. And I'm going to ult here. My ult's coming. They're super low. It's going to hit a lot of people here, maybe. Their support's going to die. Now I'm going to look for a flank here. Wow, nicely done there guys. So because I know there's a control ward, right? I put a control, I know they have no vision. So I'm going to look for an angle where they have no vision and I'm going to charge my ultimate. Okay, they still see it, but it gives them less time to react, right? They're not quite sure where I am. And then boom, there's just a tree coming at me super fast. I'm gonna get rooted, um, I need to tank it, and their ADC is like, oh my god, now I need to dodge it. And then they all lined up, right, in one line right here. That's the strength of Maokai, you make them line up. You give them really little room to wiggle, because they want to not get hit by the, the ulti, right? The longer it is, the, the more the root, so they're gonna stand behind each other. And it really just messes with their formations and fights. So, because we're there fighting there, right, we're just gonna take... Well, maybe it's something here. Maybe it's nothing. Might need some help here. Ooh, I end up dying. That's my fault. That's my fault. 
It was a pretty troll play. But looks like their support. Oh, never mind. The support almost did the same thing as me. The classic support int, you know, that like you just face check someone who's like much stronger than you. I didn't have to face check there. I just wanted to ward and then just recall. But uh, I don't know. I tweaked a little bit. I was like, ooh, maybe I can 1v1 this AD carry. But uh, it's just, it's completely fake. I can never one shot or, or 1v1 that guy. Maybe my Tom Kench video really gave me some some false confidence. No more heart steel Tom Kench guys. Or I'm gonna look to 1v1 their AD carry every single fight. So now we're just gonna clear vision. Because we wanna pressure them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our control forward here. And then we're just gonna throw some saplings. I'm gonna wait for my saplings. I don't wanna face check. Oh, maybe I can't actually put vision in these areas. Because their top laner is very strong. That's okay. Instead of uh, control warding the Baron, I'm just gonna just gonna play slowly. So see, now we see their support. He gets hit by a, a little sapling. This is the strength of Tom Kench, or not Tom Kench, of Maokai. And I'm gonna sapling behind us, right? I'm gonna sapling behind us. We're gonna push mid. Maybe they're on Baron. See, now we see where their support is. We see where their top laner is. This, this is why Maokai is strong. He gives all of the information that you need. I'm not going to go in because they're a little tanky. It is a little scary for me. I'm going to throw a sapling in this bush, right? I want to see who's in there. Now I'm going to use my spells and I'm going to look for an ulti angle right here. It looks really good. Looks like we're gonna get a couple of roots, maybe. Yep, we got their jungler in the back. Long root. Nicely done. Now we get the Baron. So the reason why I'm going in there was because my mid laner was TPing. Because he's TPing, it means that we're gonna have to fight, right? We don't wanna waste our TP. We don't wanna just use the TP and get nothing out of it. So I'm gonna force the fight and hopefully we win the fight. That's basically my thought process behind that fight. I'm not really waiting for the perfect angle. I'm not waiting for, um, oh, maybe I can hit the Kai'Sa, right? I'm just going in, right? We use our TP, I'm going in. The person in front of me, that's who I'm going on. And hopefully, even if I die, right, I'm playing support, hopefully my team can get something out of it. If they use everything, if they turn on me, they use their Rel ult, they use their Velvet W, their Trindamir ult, and they kill me, Guys, I hope my Jinx wins the fight afterwards. I hope my Azir wins the fight afterwards because if they don't, it's quite sad and we might just be so far behind at that point that we might need to FF. So here, he just dashed in. This looks like a pretty illegal dash in. I'm very fast here. But it might just be nothing. He might just drag me in. I see their jungler. I'm not going to go. Hopefully we can... Never mind, we die. We end up dying. That's pretty bad for the tempo. Um, the dragon is spawning, but we will have... We will have Aatrox TP, so maybe we can look to maybe place him a ward so he can TP flank for this dragon. We want to push out the bot lane, and then we want to play safe, right? They just put a ward here. We want to play relatively safe, because if we do die right now, it's going to just cause us to lose the dragon, which would be kind of a tragedy. So now I want to hover my my mid laner. I know their support warded here because he was showing here. Um, and he's pretty pretty obvious with his ward placement. So now I'm going to sweep. I'm going to give my mid laner some vision here. I'm probably going to recall here. Oh, maybe we can look for a play afterwards. Let's see. Maybe their mid laner is going to going to troll here. I'm going to hover behind the wall right here. Yep. Ooh, that was close. Magnite was it up. And I didn't want to ulti either. Uh, I will have to recall here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a ward and I'm going to probably recall. Maybe we just need to get this. Maybe we need to dive.
I'm going to look to charge my ultimate maybe if they walk up here. Yeah, I'm going to charge my ultimate from the fog, right? And we're going to get the flashes. Now we're going to get their jungler. Interrupt him, get the inhib. Their Trindamir could be coming, so we do want to probably escape now. That's been enough. It's, it's enough. We got what we came from, came for. Now we're going to defend our towers. Does he win the 1v1? Maybe if he ulted he could have won, but turns out he didn't. Their Kaisa got 1000 gold shutdown, that is pretty massive. That is pretty massive. So now their Kaisa will probably be 4 items, so we do really need to uh, focus her in fights. But we do have a strong Azir. That's one of the positives of this game. Our Azir is fairly strong. If we get him to death cap, we will probably win the game. So now we're going to wait around here. Their jungler's just... Maybe he saw us. We do not want to be taking anything extended here. Maybe we can wait for their top laner here, if he face checks, or something of the sort, if he does the Krugs. We do have to run near me here. We do have Aatrox TP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge my ult like this, and then we're looking at the Kai'Sa. I'm looking at the Kai'Sa here, very long route, gonna, yep, time my W. I'm gonna do a sapling here. Wow, well played here. Now their Vagar has, oh, I walked into the stun. Their Vagar has no flash. Nicely done there, guys. Easy peasy. This is how you can play Maokai support still right now on this patch, and he's still very strong. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like these. Also, if you guys have any questions related to support, uh, anything, matchup, item, I will make sure to reply in the comments, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good night. Let's end this game. Easy peasy, guys. See you guys in the next video. Have a good night.